hello everyone before i start i will show you what you are going to achieve in this video so let's look at this video here you can see they are creating a website and they are not writing any code they are having a gui or graphical user interface where they can edit the things and code they are not writing but it is automatically generated yes you also can do this and it is like very easy so make sure to watch this video till the end if you want to achieve this first you know as most of the website build are on wordpress and we are using this also on wordpress yeah if i go to this texture website it says 50 percent of the top 100 growing companies in the us use the wordpress website and there are 455 million sites that use wordpress so it's a good framework or oh, and we should start here i have my website and i have created this website using the same way i'm going to show you here you can see i have placed some ads oh this is not actual it's a kind of ad but it is a ad of mine and here i have put some kind of the thing this one i haven't started so it's not working but here you can see in my home page i'm getting the latest three my blog post and under that here i can get the, my from my youtube channel the latest six videos will be displayed here so if you click the play button it will open that video itself and here i have created uh, something that you can use this is for web development people mostly if they want linear background they can see how it looks and they can create and if they use this code it will look like this in their background and here i have a about page and a contact page and here is my blog also and here i can see uh, first there's a slider and there is these things that will show i know that color theme in this website is not good but you can adjust that and i'm going to show you how to do it in a second so now i'm going to log into the wordpress admin or dashboard and i'm going to show you how to do this so i will go to the dashboard so first thing is that you need to have this dv theme installed i will show you where to download it after explaining this but when you do it the new thing you will see here is this dv so when you see that you can go to first theme options so under the theme options you can set the color codes you are going to use and you can enable a lot of settings that will increase your site visibility or seo ranking also and you can add a lot of things here and here you can go through each of the settings but i will not do this because this is like you can see this and you will know what it will do so after doing that then there is this theme builder theme builder is that if you want actually use a theme so here let me open my website so here in the team if i add something like a global header and global footer so that on every page or the page that i specify that footer will be shown like suppose if i want this to be on every page then i can add a global header here itself and here you can see from add from library feature that i have just showed you and in here you can select from many templates that are pre-built so you can select the template you want from here and you can edit it to the way you want it to be you can even search for one here also and that is how the theme builder itself shows then here is the most important thing that we are going to use that is this theme customizer so this is the main screen where you are going to customize the website using the dv so in here general setting you can find general settings that you are going to use so if i want to change the background color for the application in here i can see the colors that i have added before in the setting so if i change it to something like white then this background will be white 
and like that you can adjust this to the way you need it to be so even if i did this then i can go down here and under uh, like home page setting in here i am set have in a static page this i have created this page from the wordpress and i am setting that as my static page because i want display this all things if i want only the blog post then i can put here your latest blog post that way it will not show like this but it will show the page that i have been posting or the post blog post that i have created those posts will be shown here and there are the blog settings and like the how much of it should be bold or it should be letter spacing for the blog post i can edit the post and blog details here then there is like mobile styles how you want it to be on the mobile you can see how it looks like on the smaller devices and you can adjust those things you just need to go through all of this and find it how to do it together then he, there i have some nice widgets so i if i go to here and i can edit add the widgets for these things for the footers that way you have to play with this and you can edit this and after doing that click publish i am using this 00 web host but you can use anything if you want to know how to set up a simple wordpress website make sure i have a tutorial on that so check it out i'll put a link in the description and after publishing that if i go here and if when i refresh this i should be able to see the changes that i have brought but when if it is not bringing the changes make sure to clear your catches and from here if we go to more history and go here and the you can clear the catch so it will show the updated change and these things are actually snippets i have added you can do that also but if you want just the gui then you can do that and you can enable this visual builder and edit some parts also if you want so now to do this all of these things you actually need to have a theme in here under appearances there is this theme in here you need to download this dv theme and you have to install it around here so to get dv theme you need to go to this website and you can click on pricing and you can see in here they are having a one time fee and it is like 89 for dollar and this one time fee is for 240 Nine dollar and it is having lifetime access. So you can choose a plan you want, but if this is too expensive, I'm going to show you a trick to get it for cheap. I will go to eBay and I will try to search for DV theme because there are people who have bought this and they have used this and they are going to sell. So if they are selling it, you can get those API keys and install that themes in the here itself in here you can see under the themes i have this dv activated only this i have so if i want to add another team i will show you that also in a minute so in here if i search for dv and here you can see dv wordpress theme it is coming for 4 dollars but this is actually you have to check if this is a legit buyer talk with them and you can buy and if they are Uh, not providing it you can apply for a refund and ebay will give you a refund so in here you can see it is for four dollars so you can some these things are sometimes legit and but there is a chance for it to be not legit you can read the other buyers comments and their reviews and after doing that and if they will give you the theme file when you get the theme file what you need to do is go to 00 that webhost.com and you have to sign into your account so in here let's click on sign in what these things will do is that you will get a zip or the one file that will contain your dv theme so in here go to manage website here tools file manager upload files
so on the file manager here public and in here wp content and under here let's go to themes and in here you have to upload the file they are given i have renamed my dv team to 2020 but you can rename it to like dv or anything you can write here i am not going to do that but when you do upload the file to here then when you go to themes here you can see that team and you need to click activate button so that will activate the dv theme then you will be able to see this dv here and with that you can do whatever you want and create the website to using gui you don't need coding but you can always add coding and customize this dv theme also if you want thank you